My major is people, <laughs> in a sense, and that's why I enjoy this. I enjoy this uh, kitchen, I enjoy uh, my employees, and I like the long relationship with my customers. And that makes me happy, you know, that's, uh, that would make my restaurant happy, that makes the next table happy. So with that in mind, they, 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 I like to see a smile. Persian food is a little different than uh, some other Middle Eastern. Uh, we use a lot of saffron that makes a big difference in the food. It really got us famous is the ground beef. Our chicken is great. Our appetizer, which is the cash kebab and john, is great. It's made with the uh, eggplant and uh, we never go shortcut. We never use frozen beef, meat or anything. We have no freezer as a matter of fact. So it's just a uh, good quality meat, very healthy meat. It doesn't matter if it's from across the street or they drive one and a half hours. Uh, you know, I, I just hate to, uh, not to give them a good food, pleasant atmosphere. I mean, I owe it, I owe it to them. So Stephen, you say that Nuna Kebab is the real deal. Tell us why you chose it. The fact that it is so true to what it's supposed to be and it's consistent, I've been so happy with it. Mm -hmm. When you compare it to other kebab restaurants, Iranian restaurants, Persian restaurants, and other uh, Middle Eastern restaurants, it's always been able to retain that consistency. Mm -hmm. I've eaten at Persian restaurants all across this country. I cannot recommend this place more. Now, Keisha, Persian food was a new thing to you. How did you I enjoy it? I had never tasted it before, had no clue what it was, and now I have a craving for it. It's a resounding it. theme for her. I've <laughs> it never tried it. It is a craving. <laughs> this show has been so good for me. It's opened up my mind to the world. It, no, it is absolutely fabulous. Fabulous. We walked in. There was only one table there, and it was 3.30 in the afternoon, Sunday afternoon. Um, most, if not all of the people there, except for my husband and myself, were speaking in their own language, okay? And so the waitress was so kind. She came over and she said, now, you look like you haven't been here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't want to look that green. But then there was a great thing about looking green because she said, uh, how about if I bring you an array of our appetizers for the newcomer? Oh, how nice. And she brought us everything, every kind of dip, every mm -hmm. kind of appetizer and the feta cheese was to die for. I could have just had this dish of just feta cheese. It was that good. It was like cream cheese. What was on the newcomer plate? Oh, we had the baba ganoush, mm -hmm. and we had a, two different kinds of eggplant dips, and we had two sour cream based, yogurt based dips. Mm -hmm. One had dill and mint, and the other had lots and lots of fabulous garlic. It was so good. One thing that, um they do do, especially with newcomers, is that they really care about their food. And that's another reason why I come back. Yes. Some people don't like that because they'll make recommendations that don't, they don't, uh, the, the patron doesn't agree with. But they know that it's so good that they want you to try it. Mm -hmm. yes. And sometimes mm -hmm. it may come off as, oh, well, I didn't come no. here to tell you, I want to try this. Well, it yes. sounds like they know yes. the food is so good. And they're, they're proud of it. And they're, they're proud of so it. proud of it. Very no. proud of it. You could feel it. You can feel it in the way their demeanor. I have to say, about their baba ganoush, it was the best I've ever had. Um, a lot of places you go and it, it's really kind of watered down and, and, and uh, you know, more like a liquid. And I don't, that's, that's not right. This one was a little bit more mashed, a little bit more chunky, and had the smoky flavor that was just fantastic. Uh, as an entree, I had the, uh, uh, the game baramjan, which is kind of like a, uh, um, a beef stew mm -hmm. with really eggplant. Oh. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty but, good. Uh, yeah. um, uh, you know. For the, a car G, that's Yeah, pretty right, good. right. For a green goose, you would say, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, but I, I mean, I was uh, I definitely lived up to my expectations. Um, uh, the only thing about it is I think that it was maybe just a, it was a little too bright. You know, we went in there and, and I think if they just kind of uh, brought the lights down a little bit and did a little bit more with the decor, I think it would reach the level of where the food is, is at, which is The Persian culture is very sexy? Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you agree with this? The darn tune I would. <laughs> Oh, that's right. <laughs> but in regards to the decor, I actually agree with you. It located in Albany Park, it isn't more yeah. of a focused on trying to show the decorum. It was really a food focused. Now, Stephen, is this a good uh, bang for the buck? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yes. uh, 
to tell you the plate size would be <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Too if you nice. can finish your meal, I'll be impressed. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a big meal. You, yeah. If you get the kebabs, you get two big mm -hmm. parts of mm -hmm. kebab, and then more rice than you'll ever need. Yeah. Now, you can either get the dill rice or saffron on top of white rice, and they're both fantastic. Yeah, the dill rice is the traditional Persian rice. Actually, both ended up being. Mm -hmm. uh, the Persian culture was dominated by Mongols many, many years mm -hmm. ago, and they brought rice with them and ever since that that that's became basmati huge, rice exactly I find be indian i was like oh <laughs> the portions are huge the price is pretty darn reasonable mm -hmm. for what you're getting mm -hmm. conrad did yeah. you have to go through the drive through afterwards was i certainly did not i certainly <laughs> did not which was wonderful um you, you know the portions are huge you're definitely taking something home with you um and you're probably also eating it later that same evening yeah. yes. you know that which is, is what we ended up doing that if i'm going there for the first time and i don't know anything about this food what should i order don't feel uncomfortable letting them make a recommendation. Tell them what you, you like. They will be glad to make recommendations from the stews or the kebabs. I would highly, highly recommend the appetizers. If they're mm. willing to give you the appetizer medley because it's not on the, re mm. the menu, feel free to take that because mm. that, I'm sure, was well worth it. I would say have one of each. <laughs> Take their recommendation. <laughs> okay. It is still reasonable, and you have food for the whole week, okay? <laughs> okay, Steve, well, this is your selection. Give us a quick summary. Of all the Iranian restaurants I've been to for kebabs and stews, this has been by far the best. As I said, it was consistent. It's reasonably priced, and it's also great for uh, takeout. And Acacia? We went at 3.30 on a Sunday afternoon. There was one table left, and thank God it was ours. And I'd like to go back on an evening to see what the atmosphere is like. And Conrad? I think if you're looking for an authentic Persian restaurant, I, you can't go wrong here. Um, it's truly a hidden gem. Um, I don't think I would have found it otherwise, and uh, definitely go back. Well, you can visit Nuno Kebab, 4661 North Kedzie Avenue, 773-279-8899. They're open for lunch and dinner every day. Reservations are not accepted. <laughs> and the average tab without drinks is about $12 per person.